Hey, what's up everyone? Nick here, and welcome back to the Uncharted Let's Platinum series. We are now moving on to Phase 2. So, aside from beating the game on crushing difficulty, the remaining trophies that I have involve doing certain special things. Killing a certain amount of enemies with a certain weapon, doing special takedown moves, things like that. Uh, kind of just, you know, miscellaneous trophies. Now, for the most part, you know, for the most part, I could just start the game on crushing and probably unlock some of those trophies as I go, but I always like to unlock as many trophies as I can before doing the hardest difficulty. My personal preference is when I do set out to do the hardest difficulty, I like, to, I like that to be the last thing I do. So what we're gonna do, or what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna load up chapter one here, and the first trophy that I'm gonna go for involves doing the brutal combo. So, this here? is something that I tried to do at the beginning of the game, at the beginning of my initial playthrough, but it didn't quite work out the way I had anticipated. So anyway, now you can see that since I've beaten the game, I now am able to utilize chapter select, so I can jump to any chapter I want to, and I also have switched the difficulty to easy. That way, you know... That way I can kind of just run around and not really risk dying. Like, uh, obviously if there are a lot of enemies shooting at me and I don't do anything about it, yeah, I could potentially die, but for the most part it's not that big of a concern. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on the brutal oh, no, combo don't. here. So you do square, triangle, square. And the trophy here is for doing five in a row. And the problem is I got to get these guys away from the railings because I don't want that. That's the problem here. That's what kind of stumped me on my initial playthrough was if you if you go to hit them while they're standing next to like a railing or a ledge or something, if you go and press square trying to do the brutal combo, Drake will actually push them against the railing and uh, you're not really able to do it. Um, so, so what I have to do is I kind of have to wait to get the right positioning. So you see, here's the enemies. I'm going to kind of let them disperse for a second. There we go. So that right there is already three in a row. So here we go for number four. And again, the reason I put it on easy difficulty is because now I can kind of just focus on the combat. Like the enemies that are shooting at me really aren't that much of a concern. So here we go. In order to get the trophy, I should only have to do this to one more enemy. Whoops. All right, boom. And there you go, that's five in a row. The trophy should pop. Let's give it a second, because that was definitely five if I can count correctly. Let's just, let's just keep doing it, I guess, because for some reason that trophy isn't popping. So, okay, there we, okay, wait, that's a different one, I think. So, Brutal Expert. That, oh, nope, that's it. Okay, so for some reason one of those didn't seem to count, but there you go. That is for doing five Brutal Combos in a row. Now, there's one more trophy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to restart the checkpoint. I might have waited a bit too long to do this. Uh, let's find out. Yes, I did. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm gonna have to restart the level um, Because there's one more trophy related to the brutal combo and in my opinion It's just easiest to do on chapter one because that's when the game is at its de at its easiest So let's go ahead and just redo exactly what I just did and uh, the last trophy that we have to get regarding the brutal combo is called brutal slugger and that is just for doing a total of 20. You have to do 20 brutal combos. So obviously right there, I just did five. I did a few back in my initial playthrough of the game. So it should only take, you know, one or two rounds to get this trophy. Um, and again, the fact now that I can How kind can of just skip the, uh, you know, skip the cutscenes and everything really shouldn't be, shouldn't be that uh, tedious. And then what I'm going to do after I get this trophy, we can go ahead and uh, we can we can leave chapter one after this trophy. There there are two other trophies that I want to get, but I don't necessarily have to get them in this level. In fact, it would probably be more advantageous to do it all in chapter four, because chapter four is actually, in my opinion, the best chapter to do trophy hunting, because that's where not only is it still early enough in the game to where the enemies are kind of easier to kill, but um, it's also that there's a lot of enemies. Okay, see, I can't have that. I need the brutal combo. 
There we go. Okay, so that's, uh... Again, I don't know how many I have total. Oh, and that's not gonna work. So that's kind of a shame. Drake, for whatever reason, he just decided to execute a stealth takedown instead of a brutal combo. That was weird. Now, fortunately, there is a trophy and uh, there is a trophy associated with doing a certain amount of stealth kills. So that trophy will still. Oh, and I just did it again. What is going on? And I just did it again. I've never seen this happen. I just got three stealth kills in a row, and I'm not even meaning to do that. Now, like I said, the, the benefit here is there's actually a couple trophies related to getting stealth kills, which I might actually just get right now. I mean, that's kind of what it's sh shaping up to be. But like I said, I want to get uh, brutal combos right now. No. All right. Why is he doing that weird little... Okay, so there's one enemy left, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the checkpoint. That way, I don't have to restart the entire level. Um, in the last time, the last time I did this, um, Elena, she, she killed the enemy. I wasn't anticipating that. So now, I'm just going to restart the checkpoint, and here you see we can start right back at the combat. So as long as you leave one of those enemies alive, you're able to just restart the checkpoint over and over. And there we go. Hey, there we go. There's Brutal Slugger. And there's another stealth takedown. So, you know what? Just for fun, since I got the trophy, I got... Th so, there you go. Brutal Slugger. Just for fun here, I'm actually going to see if I can get a couple more stealth takedowns. Because I never tried to do it this way, but it seems to be working for whatever reason, which I just find incredible. Um, so, see, if I, if I just get behind the enemy, like... If I just get behind the enemy and try to get Elena to distract them... Okay, so now it's not really... Of course, now when I actually try to do it this way, it's not really working. Oh, here we go. Oh, he turned around at the last second. So don't worry, this isn't really the spot that I wanted to get this trophy anyway, but I figured, you know, it would be worth a try. So there you go. We got the, we got the two trophies that I wanted to get. Brutal Expert and Brutal Slugger. And so now what we'll do is we'll actually jump to Chapter 4. And Chapter 4 has a lot of combat, and that's why I think that's a good spot to work on the next little handful of trophies. And so just so you guys can know what to expect, as I said, you know, I have a couple trophies just like miscellaneous combat trophies. And then I have a couple trophies regarding certain weapons, you know, certain weapons that I have to get a certain amount of kills with. Um... And so, right now, my focus is to get those miscellaneous trophies. However, you know, down that road, um, the, the weapon-related trophies, I might actually wait to just try to get those during the crushing playthrough, because, like, I'm going to be using those weapons anyway. But one little trick, so check this out. Now that I've beaten the game, so for example, one of the trophies that I have is to get um, 50 kills with each type of shotgun. So what I can do is I can go to the bonus menu, go to rewards, and then go to weapon select. And you could see that based on all of the trophies I've gotten so far, these are the weapons that I have access to. So I think what I can do is I can, so go to the Moss 12, select it, and then I think, there you go. Now I have one in my inventory. Now unfortunately I haven't yet unlocked infinite ammo, but uh, you know, that'll come in due time. And either way, even even until it takes me to get infinite ammo, I could just, you know, kill eight enemies with this and then reload the checkpoint and then kind of uh, rinse and repeat. And so what I'm going to do, what I, what I want to do now, though, towards the beginning of this level is I actually want to work towards in a ter, towards. Gosh, I can't talk right now. Um, I want to work towards a trophy called Steel Fist and Steel Fist Expert. So to get those trophies, what you have to do is you have to kill an enemy in a single punch after weakening them with gunfire. So it sounds kind of complicated, but basically what you do, pretend there was an enemy in front of me right now. What I would do is I would run towards him and I would, I would blind fire two or three shots. And then as you're running towards him, he'll get stunned because you're shooting him. And then right when you get next to him, you punch him. And because you blind fired him two or three times, that damage will stick and the punch should finish the job. So that's, you know, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of the gist of how it works. So, you know, of course, it's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to actually do it. So that's what we're going to 
that's what we're gonna do here and those are the true the those are the two trophies that I want to work on right now and then uh, there are a couple stealth related ordeals so here we go I'm gonna come over here now watch what I do again I'm on easy for a reason so there you go that's one right there I'll probably die cuz like I said this isn't the best place to do it but that that's already two enemies right there um, so yeah like so right there you see I die that's okay um, like I said this really isn't the best place to do this trophy but I just you know I kinda wanna get it out of the way early um, now unfortunately if I die I'm not sure if my counter resets cuz I have to do five of those in a row so there's three in a row there's okay there you go so there's why it seems like I'm dying really fast right now so there's steel fist so that's uh, for doing it five times so now I have to do it five times in a row to get steel fist why did you fall down Drake um, so so now I have to do it five times in a row so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to kill this initial wave of enemies um, just because actually I might as well use the shotgun here Oh, I thought two would do the job. Wow, really? I know. Oh my gosh, never mind. That's uh, that's kind of ridiculous. Like I know the shotgun's not a long-range weapon, but this is easy difficulty, and you're telling me four shots didn't kill that guy? That's a bit ridiculous, if you ask me. But that's okay. So now I'm gonna work towards the steel fist expert. So again, I just have to do that same little thing, but do it five times in a row. So here comes. And that is really weird did it just give me the trophy okay guys so that's really weird I have uh, I honestly have no explanation for how that just happened because in order to get steel fist expert you're supposed to do that three times in a row and or sorry five times in a row and I most certainly did not do that so I'm kind of at a loss I'm not really sure what just happened but I'm not gonna argue it I got the trophy and look at that I unlocked a couple more weapons as I did so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the micro because that is another gun that I still haven't gotten the trophy for and we're gonna work towards that and for now I can work on I can work on these weapon related trophies because the next couple of trophies that I need to get um, I can't really get them until later on anyway so there you go there's a uh, what was that three or four enemies that I just killed with this weapon now we're gonna drop down into a pretty big combat section and of course unfortunately like I said I don't yet have infinite ammo unless I just unlock it so let me check um, yeah so I need hundred and sixty more points to unlock infinite ammo but I wonder if I can just keep like so for example if I take this turn it off oh it won't let me turn it off Okay, so let's say I do this, and then I do it again. Let's see if it gives me a fresh set of ammo. And it does. So, essentially right there, that's a little way... It's a little inconvenient, but there's a way you can bypass the whole infinite ammo thing. So let's run around for a bit. Oh my gosh, why is the shotgun poop? Alright, so again, I'm just kind of moseying through here it's on easy difficulty even if I die I don't really care because again the the total kill count will stay intact okay so here you see once again I ran out of ammo so we'll just go here go to weapon select and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, oh whoops for some reason it won't let you do it while you're in a crouching position so there you go um, weapon select so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to this shotgun then I'll switch back to the moss that'll give me a fresh supply of weapons and then I'll do the same thing with the micro I feel like I should be close to the micro one because I definitely kill I, I definitely use this weapon a lot on my initial playthrough so I was a little I was actually a little surprised to see that um, that I didn't get that trophy initially so I'm trying to just conserve as much ammo as I can so that I don't have to keep, you know, so that I don't have to keep redoing this. 
and I just missed a big slew of shots. All right, so that's even more enemies with the micro. They're still alive though, so let's let's switch to the shotgun a little bit. Hurry. Okay, let's do another one. All right, so I yeah I'm kind of surprised. I feel like I feel like I've killed enough. So there's my fresh supply of ammo. I, I'm kind of surprised that that works, to be honest, that little strat. Oh, and this is the point where the game introduces shotguns anyway. So now I can find shotgun ammo off of fallen enemies. But um, but yeah, guys, so mo I'm, I'm basically just going to spend the majority of this time in Chapter 4. In fact, I'm going to try to get to the end of the chapter because that is where... Um, that's a good place where you can get the stealth kill related... Um, you know, the stealth kill related oh, God. trophy. Wow. You're telling me I still haven't gotten that, that trophy. That's... Yeah, I'm a bit... I'm a bit surprised, to be honest. Alright, so let's just finish off these guys with the shotgun. <laughs> this is just a, a murder. It's a bloodbath. Alright, come in here. More enemies are gonna spawn. That's okay. I'm expecting them. Alright, I got one shot. Uh-oh. Did not know you were there. Okay. And there's still some... In oh, there's a guy with his... Oh, he's probably gonna kill me. Oh, look at that. There's the micro. And... Hey, actually, that's a good spot to die, believe it or not, <laughs> because now I can redo that whole combat section with just the shotgun. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll focus on the shotgun for now. I no longer have to worry about the micro, which is nice. Okay, so there's two. Wow, screw you, dude, for running like that. And look at that. There's the shotgun. So I knew I wasn't that far off. All right, so now what I'm going to do... Again, just while I'm working towards these is I'm going to, uh, oh, gosh, dang it. That's really stupid how you can't switch weapons when you have, uh, when you're in the, like, cover position. So I'm going to take the Desert 5 now, and I'm also going to take the, uh, SAS-12. All right, so, yeah, I'm just going to switch to the SAS. Uh, shotgun so I can start working towards that. I'll also switch to the Desert 5. And from this point, I'm not going to... Again, I'm, okay, so you see right there I just died. That's okay. Um, like I said, the weapon-related trophies, they're really not my concern right now. So what I'm going to do, since I just died, is I will actually switch one more time to these two weapons. But uh, I'm just going to kind of get through the level here. I'm not going to really worry about... I'm not going to worry about these kill-related or these weapon-related trophies because, again, I just... At this point, this isn't my big concern. You know, these trophies can come later when I, uh... Dang it. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Whoa, I've never noticed he does that little move. And look at that. Wow. Okay, so I am, like, blazing through these. I thought this was going to take way longer, but, um... It looks like I got more kills than I had anticipated on my initial playthrough. So that is very... How did that not kill you? That was a point-blank shot from the strongest shotgun in the game. Come on, man. All right. So yeah, as far as weapon-related trophies go, I'm actually making very good progress. I, I'm doing this a lot uh, faster than I anticipated, which is, which is always favorable. All right, so now I'm going to come to this location here. Here they come. Um, let's get to this guy. So I, the SAS, I'm really not sure how many I have with this. Probably not a lot because I don't really remember using this gun that much. But, uh, oh, you're still alive. Okay. So there we go. There's, uh, 
you know, there's that trophy. Um, so let's, you know, just for the heck of it, since I can do this quickly now, let's just uh, get ammo on the shotgun. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make my way through the chapter. So let's go over the trophies so far because there's actually been a lot that have already popped in this video. And uh, as I said, you know, back when I did my Evil Within Let's Platinum, this is always my favorite part of playing a game is... I guess what I would, ha I guess what I've been calling phase two. So, you know, typically when I get a new game, say, say I go to the store and I get a brand new game that I've never played before. Typically what I do is first I play the game on normal and I play it usually without a walkthrough. Like I just, I get the game, I have fun with it. I don't, I don't even look at the trophy list. I just have fun with it. I don't stress about trophies. And real quick, we're going to start working towards something else here. So I'm going to go for the grenade hangman. Basically what you want to do is hang from this ledge here and uh, I'm just going to start chucking grenades over here <laughs> and hopefully, it's a little bit of guesswork here, but hopefully I can get 10 kills. So there you see, you know, I, I don't know, again, I don't know how many I just got, but I'm out of grenades. So what I'm going to do, so this is, the, this is actually one of the points I wanted to get to right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on getting this. So... How did they see me? Come on. Um, but yeah, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to basically chuck these grenades over the wall here and try to get t 10 kills. And to get this trophy, again, this is called uh, Grenade Hangman. To get this trophy, you have to kill 10 enemies with grenades while hanging from a ledge. And so you could see, you know, I'm hanging from a ledge. I got my grenades. All right, that guy, for some reason, doesn't want to come over here and rush me. So let's see if I can throw this grenade a long way. And the good news is with this, you know, with this particular trophy, um, you're also working towards the, there's a, there's a trophy for killing, you know, a certain amount of enemies with grenades. So you're also working towards that. So that should get me two kills right there. Are you serious? How did, how did they not die? These guys are freaking invincible. All right, so again, just keep the grenades coming, and hopefully, like, th this seems to be going a little ridiculous, but, um, you know, this is just part of trophy hunting. And as I was saying, for me, this is always my favorite part of it. Um, you know, when I get a new game, like I said, first what I do is I play the game just on normal. I basically just have fun with it. I don't even really look at the trophy list. I can't even tell if I'm killing anyone right now. Oh, that time I definitely killed someone. Um, but yeah, so so like I said, you know, and then what I do is I, I'll beat the game. And after I beat the game, that's when I'll kind of, then I'll look at the trophy list and I'll say, okay, how far did I get just from playing? Like without even really focusing on trophies, how well did I just do? And, um, and then I'll go and, you know, actually pull up a trophy guide and, and kind of focus on the actual trophy hunting. All right, that'll kill him. And look at that. There's, uh, so there's another weapon related trophy. That's the trophy for getting a certain amount, 20 grenade kills. So, yeah, this is actually really surprising. I'm working through these way faster than I anticipated. Um, I might even get all these done. I, I thought this was going to take two videos, but at this rate, it looks like it might only take uh, one. All right, so here we go. Throwing the grenades. And there we go. So I can leave. There you go, guys. That is the grenade hangman trophy. That's how you do it. And now I can continue on with this. Whoops, I did not know there was another guy there. So now I can continue on with the shotgun. And uh, the next trophy that I'm going to be going for is related to stealth kills. And this will actually come a little later in the game. Or sorry, in the level. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this part out. I'm actually going to skip this part because uh, this part... Um, I can't really work towards any of the trophies here. So I'll go ahead and cut a little forward to where we can do some more trophy hunting. But anyway, guys, so before I get to the next section where I can actually do a bit more fighting, uh, what I wanted to say was whenever I'm playing a game, this is always my favorite part of trophy hunting, kind of that in-between phase where you've already played the game once, you had a go at it, uh, the, la the, you know, the next thing to do is maybe play the game on the hardest difficulty, but before starting that, I, I always like to, you know, just 
chapter select and I just like to do some good old-fashioned trophy hunting like just pick a trophy any trophy and go for it and um, you know it's not always the most fun like like with that grit like with the uh, grenade hangman trophy you know it, sometimes it takes a little bit of grinding you know you just got to kind of replay the same sections over and over again and it's it's not a whole lot of fun like I'll admit you know there are there are definitely trophies like that but um, you know for the most part I still have fun with it. It's just the, it's just this idea of like, yeah, I'm grinding, but I'm doing something. Like like I am working towards something. I have a goal in mind, and and so yeah, I've talked about this a lot in the past. But that's just what I think is really the best part of trophies and achievements is it it gives the player this alternative goal. You know, it's it's it becomes more than just beating the game. Like you actually want to get all the trophies. You actually want to you know do this and that and whatnot. So. So I don't know. I, I always really appreciate it. Now, there are a couple more. There are only two more weapon-related trophies that I need. One is for using the grenade launcher right here. And the other is using the sniper rifle. And as you can see, unfortunately, I am not quite... Uh, I don't have enough... Uh, I don't have enough points yet to do that, so I'm still 150 points short. So those are two trophies that I'll have to wait. I'll have to get those later, probably on my crushing playthrough. But um, basically what I got to do now is I got to just get through this fight. And then after this fight, there's going to be an area where we can get the last two miscellaneous trophies that I need. So I'll go ahead and, again, just kind of skip to that section. You don't need to watch me go through this fight again. You already saw me do this on my initial playthrough. And as I said, I'm not actually going to be really working towards any trophies right here. That's going to come in a little bit. So let's skip forward a bit. All right, guys. So here we go. Uh, you should probably recognize this location. This is right towards the end of Chapter 4. And there are two more uh, trophies that I need, like combat-related trophies, not weapon-related trophies. Uh, one is for getting 20 stealth kills, which I already have, I think, probably more than half. So that one shouldn't take too long, and, and you can get two right here. And then the other one is for getting three, killing three enemies with one explosion. And you got to do that five times. And it sounds tough, but I'll show you a really good spot to do it. But first things first, wow, that is completely unfair. That has never happened before. So you want to get to this point right here. Um, that is really odd. That's never happened before. Usually that enemy has his back to you. So here you go. That's one stealth kill right there, right off the bat. And then you do another one right here. And it's possible to get... Oh, dang it, Drake. So sometimes, sometimes Drake does that. It's really annoying okay so I don't know if that counted either so the point is to get it uh, because believe it or not in this game there's actually not a lot of stealth opportunities if if really any at all so you very rarely even get the opportunity to do a stealth kill so there you can see I just got two maybe three again the game is sometimes a little the game can be a little iffy about what it counts as a stealth kill like this guy right here this one always counts doing it doing it like that that always counts but then this guy here if drake punches him like that sometimes it doesn't really count same with this guy here like i'm not sure if it really counts so anyway the point is the the quickest way to get this trophy is to honestly just keep reloading that checkpoint and you only need 20. I mean, I should be pretty close because I, I got maybe a couple on my initial playthrough. But then as you saw earlier in the video, I got a few on chapter one. Okay, see, like right there. For some reason, Drake decided to just punch the guy instead of doing what I wanted him to do. So you know, it can be inconsistent at times. You just got to put up with it. Um, but again, this initial guy here, that one will always count. So even if you were to just do that 20 times... And there you go. Like, Drake, just for whatever reason, decided to punch that guy. Um, okay, now I'm starting to get a little worried because I, I really feel like I should have gotten 20 by now. So, if it doesn't pop here, I'm going to be a little concerned because I feel like I've... I feel like I've gotten at least 20. Like, not 
in this moment alone, but just throughout the course of everything I've done in this series so far. Okay, yeah, so what is going on? And, and you know, this is just part of trophy hunting. Sometimes you gotta just do it, and you just gotta keep doing it. And maybe it doesn't count, but you just gotta keep going for it. So there's another one. And again, Drake decided to punch him that time, so absolutely no consistency. And there we go. Stealth attacker. Got it. Um, okay. So now we can work on killing these guys. And this is actually where we're going to get the other trophy as well. The one I just told you about for killing... Uh... Oh, that guy got caught in the trap. Okay. Oh, wow. Where did you come from, dude? Okay. So, normally, if I had already unlocked the M79, I might have been able to get this trophy earlier. But I hadn't. So, here's what you're going to do. You're going to jump up here. You're going to get this guy's grenade launcher. And then you're going to aim it right here at the base of these trees. You're going to wait for three enemies to kind of group together. And there you go. So, that is for doing it once. Okay, so that trophy is just for doing it once. So then what you do is you restart the checkpoint once again, and we're just going to do that four more times. And it's it's pretty simple. Uh, this is definitely, in my opinion, the best place in the game to get it. So again, just wait for them to group together. There you see I killed... I'm actually killing four. So sometimes you can you can get two for one. Like, you can, you can do it twice in one checkpoint because... Um, if you only kill three, there, there are, I, I think there are a total of six enemies here. So it is possible to, you know, get that. Oh, what the heck? That one didn't seem to work. Actually, I can't tell. I can't tell how many guys I killed there. But that's okay. It's just, uh, the point is, you know how to do it. You see where it's being done. And again, just kind of how trophy hunting goes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, oh, and for some reason, the enemies are already spawning here. That was lucky. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be able to get that off on time. So that's definitely three. Uh, I don't know if I did it that one time. So if anything, I might be looking at two more times. So again, let's just uh, prep the gun. Wait right here. Uh, that one got three. So that's four. So I should only have to do it one more time, assuming each of those times counted. All right, so here we go again. Let's hope that it works this time. And there you go, guys. Expert dynamite. Um, like I said, you just have to do it. Um, oh, and look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. That I love how that works. That was just a big coincidence, but I also just got the trophy for 30 grenade launcher kills. So that is, uh, that is really, really cool because now that puts me in a perfect spot. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bonus menu and you're going to see um so you're going to see that unfortunately i still don't have access to the sniper rifle i only have 900 points and i need 70 more but that's okay because the sniper rifle i will be able to use that during my crushing playthrough and as long as i remember i'll i'll make sure to use the sniper rifle during that playthrough as much as i can and we'll get that trophy as we play through the game on crushing so, guys, that actually kind of brings us to the end of Phase 2, believe it or not. So let's, uh, let's check the trophy list, make sure I'm not missing anything that I, that I just might have forgotten about. But that was a lot of trophies. That, that, I just got a lot of trophies in that one video. And again, that's, that's always my favorite part, just sitting back and, and just trophy hunting. Just trophy hunting for the sake of trophy hunting. So you see here, all the treasure trophies got them. Brutal Brawler, Brutal Slugger, Brutal Expert, got them all. Stealth Attacker, just got it. Steel Fist and Steel Fist Expert, got them both. Um, so here you go, that's the Dynamite and Expert Dynamite. Those are the ones I just got. Run and Gunner, um, oh, that was earlier. Uh, Grenade Hangman, got that one here. Now you can see the weapon-related ones. We got the Pistol, Pistol 2, the Micro, got it. West 44, got it. Desert 5, MP40, 47, M4. Um... And, uh-oh, it looks like there are two. There are two here, and I'm not sure what that is. So, this one here, this is the sniper rifle. This one, though, I am not sure what that is. 
Um, I was under the impression that I had everything I needed, but it looks as if that was not the case. So let me, real quick, did I, I can't remember if I got the, sh the other shotgun one. Maybe that's what I'm missing, the SAS-12. Yes, it is, okay. So I, I forgot what I was doing. I stopped using the shotgun. So that's why I didn't get the shotgun-related trophy, but that's okay. Like I said, I can get those when we move on to uh, the next phase, you know, when we move on to when we move on to phase three. So I suppose, because I think now, even if I wanted to work towards the shotgun one, oh no, okay. So you know what, real quick, let's just do it. Because I can, let's just do the shotgun related trophy. And, um, and then we'll save this, oh wait. Okay, yeah, here they come. So we'll, let's just do this one now, and we will save the sniper rifle related trophy for the crushing plate. Oh my gosh, I can't hit a target to save my life. Alright, so that was three right there. How did you not die right there, good sir? Alright, so let's just let this guy kill me, and then we will rinse and repeat, and we'll just keep using the, uh, We'll just keep using the SAS-12, which unfortunately it doesn't start me off with, but that's okay. Whoops, there we go. And yeah, like I said, you know, this isn't necessary. I could just wait until, you know, I could just wait until I play Crushing to do this, but, you know, as I said, it. I usually just prefer to get as many trophies out of the way as I can, first and foremost. And look at that, it didn't take very long at all. So... Unfortunately, I still don't have enough points to, uh, I still don't have enough points to get the sniper rifle, but that's okay. Anyway, guys, I think that's a good spot to end this video, so that was a lot of trophies in one video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. That wraps up phase two. It only took one video. I thought it might take two, but I actually got through that quicker than expected. So now... In the next video, we're going to start the game from the beginning, but this time we're going to be doing it on crushing difficulty. And, uh, you know, we'll beat the game on crushing. That will probably go by quicker because I'll, I'll skip all of the cutscenes and all of that stuff, so it shouldn't take as long. Um, and then, yeah, you know, as long as I remember to use the sniper rifle as much as I can, I should be able to get that trophy. Uh, if not, you know, I can always just beat the game on crushing and then go back and unlock infinite ammo, ammo with the sniper rifle, and we'll be just the same. So anyway, guys, we're close to the platinum. Pretty much all of the trophies are out of the way. The last thing to do is beat the game on the hardest difficulty, and fortunately that happens to be my specialty. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next video when we start phase three.